When you're not around, what does your cat do? When you're at work, when you're at school, that quick run to the grocery store, when your cat is at home and all alone, even for a short time, what happens? Does your pet sleep? Do they look out the window? Do they walk the floors? Or do they entertain all of those spots in the house and those objects in the home that they know good and well not to touch? Are cats like children? Do they raid the cookie jar when the parents are away? In this material, we'll talk about the common things, the most notable things that cats do when their owners are not around. Interesting topic, perhaps a fun topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. When the parents are away, the children will play. Well, it goes a little something like that. Before I tackle these common activities, these actions, let me set the foundation of a good home environment, a good cat, not the problem child. We're talking, hopefully, you know, the old run-of-the-mill good behavior in a quality, cat-friendly setting. Why is this foundation important? Well, number one, we'd be here all day without it. And number two, because if a cat lives... In chaos 24-7, being alone, well, the possibilities are as open as a 24-hour Walmart. So, let's work in good faith and talk about what cats in a sound and pleasant living environment do when they are all alone. The first notable, and anyone could have guessed this, and that's sleep. Cats are going to get their hours in, whether anyone is around or not. Now, while cats probably don't sleep as much as you think, when they are alone, depending on the time of day, what happened prior to you walking out the door, well, the cat will sleep. It's always an option, right? It's always on the table, and because you are away, they could be sleeping on the actual table. (laughs) Next up, another common activity is looking out the window. If a cat naturally has this option available with no one else to garner attention, that window time becomes all the more important. Bird watching, people watching, watching other cats roam around, cars passing, At the window, watching the world go by. Cats love to check out life in motion. And what better place to enjoy things than a nice window seat? Another possibility, food. If you allow your cat, at least at times, especially when you are away, to have an open style or open buffet style food set up, uh, they could be eating a wet meal, munching down on some dry food, or perhaps entertaining some snack treats. If the food is there, the cat will eat, especially if the spread is fresh and the water is too. Now let's talk about cat toys. If your cat has a nice selection of toys around the house and they're easily accessible, your cat could just play around to pass the time and because they're alone, they could feel more inclined to play longer simply because other options are limited. If your cat has a play area complete with a nice nesting spot, perhaps a scratching post and a cat tree, then they're all set up. That time will go by quite fast for your pet if they stay busy and focused on the pleasures of their own toy chest. Sort of like a kid with a toy box. Now, let's talk about uh, location shopping, if you will. What I mean by this is simply checking out other areas of the home that your cat wouldn't seek out otherwise. Not that these areas are dangerous or totally off-limits, but since things are quiet and you're not around, your cat, if for no other reason than boredom, could desire to sneak off to the far corner of your living room, relax under a random table that's out of a high-traffic area. Here again, your pet isn't really up to no good. They're just entertaining things outside of the norm the norm they typically dwell in or dwell on if you were around. A bit earlier, I touched on just for a second that cat tree, those high perches, well, cats love to look down on the world whenever they get the chance. And in addition to the cat tree, which is within limits, there's a chance, even within your wonderful cat-friendly environment, that your pet could sneak off to that, I don't know, the bookcase, the bookshelf. I mentioned sleeping on a table. What about a few tables? Yeah, your cat could still play it safe and jump down without you ever suspecting a thing, but while you're at work or school or whatever, your pet could be napping all high and lifted up in a spot that you really wish they weren't. Another activity, another action that your cat could take when they're all alone? How about sneaking off to other rooms in the house, the bathroom, the closet, your bedroom? Yeah, all of this is a bit tricky because unless your cat is a regular around these parts, things could take a sour turn, unfortunately. For both you and for your cat uh, and your belongings, of course. And while I do realize we're having a bit of fun here, in all seriousness, the bathroom. There could be some cleaning supplies around, just some things that 
You'd rather not have your cat entertained, and while that could go for the closet and the bedroom, that bathroom, eh, it's a bit suspect. Before you leave, close those doors. Make sure that when you depart your home that your cat is in the room you want them to be in and that they are unable to get beyond that space. And as for other things your cat could do and the places they could go, it's all rather standard from here. They could get up on your sofa, obviously. I think that much is a given, right? And here's one, perhaps a bit of a curveball, considering I framed this video sort of from the standpoint of a single cat wandering alone, but when you're out and about, your cat could be playing around with your other cats. That's right. If you do have a multi-cat household, whatever is going down will probably be a group effort when you're not a, around to witness it or to, to chaperone, let's say. And uh, some of that time, it'll likely be just your cats hanging out and playing, perhaps chasing each other around your living room. Same will be true if you have a dog that just loves to pal around with the felines. Basically, when cats are all alone in the home, they'll do a lot of the same things, for the most part, that you witness. Only the activities will just be a bit more focused and probably more prolonged. When you're around and that television's going on and your phone's making all kinds of noise, there are a lot of distractions and your cat is very much entertained. Their attention is constantly being shifted and kept elsewhere because the atmosphere is very much alive. However, when your cat is all alone, they have to create the scene to create the entertainment. You won't be there for the positive distractions. This is why cats will do what they do and do it more often. Or, I guess, uh, if, if the fear is right, a cat will do something that you'd never even uh, think that they could attempt if someone was in the room. Uh, that's That would be your your fear as an owner. Sleeping on top of the bookcase, not ideal at any time. But when there's no one around to hold up that stop sign, Garfield could get a wild hair and flex those independent muscles, right? Earlier on, I spoke about a cat without rules. I talked about a cat without rules in an environment where chaos is the norm. Now, that's not to say that a little mischief won't be in the cars from time to time, even in the very best of environments. We all know this to be true. So, I think it's fair to expect, at least at times... Uh, something on the negative end on occasion. Your cat could do something that you'd rather not have them do ever again, even if it's something as basic as jumping up on, let's say, the kitchen table. And before I close things out, I will say that what your cat does when they're alone, it largely depends on your pet's overall health. And being that we are in senior cat wellness, most cats, once they get well into those happy golden years, they're more than happy to nap the day away, whether you're around or not. Having said that, if you do have to leave your senior cat alone, make sure they have all of the essentials and they're as safe as possible. I know we can't be everywhere at all times, but the very last thing you want is for your elderly cat to take a fall and get injured or get into a substance like those cleaning supplies I mentioned earlier. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, what do you think your cat does when you're not around? When your pet is alone, what do they do? Have you ever walked in and caught them in the act of doing something that you wouldn't approve of? Did you ever walk in on your cat making a TikTok video? <laughs> your thoughts on this topic, personal stories to share, that comment section, as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.